All right, let's go, boys. Do we want to switch uh, judges or no? Uh, that's up to you guys. Judges, that's up to you guys. <laughs> that's how you don't mind switching judges, right? If he wants to take over for the judge, wait. Ac then... Actually, you know what? Max probably has some lines still, so I'll just stick with Max. All right, never so mind. Well. I'm okay. sure the defendant will have to show up soon. It is his trial, after all. This is like the one thing I've noticed. They never call the defendant to stand. December 30th, 2.17 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby, number five. Well, there are there are cases where they do call the defendant up. Oh, they do? Okay, I haven't yeah. seen it yet. Yeah, uh, I think, they, I think uh, the defendant of the next case takes a stand, right? Hmm. Talking to Goody. Well, there's... There's Bob and Jim. Say again, Iris, I'm sorry. The defendant of the next case takes a stand at some point, right? Come here. Uh, yes. But... You go. All right. Whoa, don't fall off, you asshole. I can't believe it. Acro? It's pretty shocking, isn't it? Arr. It definitely is. And I think he was always the most straightforward of the group. <laughs> Jeebus, am I that hated? I don't know who's a hemming. So Ahem. everyone do it. Ahem. One. Ahem. Okay, never mind. I could try to pin the murder on you on purpose. Don't chew on that. He, he did. I think it's Mo. Let's say it's Mo. Everyone do it. One, two, three. <laughs> 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 but but I'm nothing but a little old nobody, you know. <laughs> but you're not, which is kind of the reason why. <clears throat> oh God, I have to hey, make this real real. Hey, pal. Wait, this hey, it's Gumshoe. <laughs> you're gonna ignore? Okay, hold on. Let me take a sip because I gotta get rid of these tickets real quick. Hold on, pal. <laughs> Using my secret technique. Hold on. <laughs> Channel the gumshoe. Hello, gumshoe. Yep, got rid of them. Okay. You're going to ignore me after I went through all this trouble to bring you some evidence? Detective Gumshoe. Uh, forget it. I'm going home. This guy deserves to be guilty, anyways. No, hey, no, you. no, detective. I'm sorry. L look, why don't you relax a little? You got some really tasty milk. It's probably soured Please by now. Please tell me it's what? been refrigerated what? and not just Nothing sitting out in this lobby. sour in a day. Uh, it sits Nothing. out. It builds character. It doesn't it's get lukewarm. sour in a day. How about a card trick, detective? You're talking you to yourself now. Yes. You. <laughs> mm. <laughs> well, if you insist, my good, sexy-looking friend. <laughs> How about that evidence you mentioned? What is it? <laughs> Here you go. Oh, he stole it from Von Karma. Hmm. Huh? This was yesterday in Acro's room. Yep, and I've included the forensic results. Take a look at it later. Won't Miss Von Karma be mad that you're doing this? Mm -hmm. That's why this is all a secret. Don't ever change, don't you? Uh huh? <laughs> Look, details are on a need no basis. And we're not really allies or anything. Babaka. But that Max character sure is a handsome devil. <laughs> <laughs> and everything that's happened up in court now has gone according to our plan. Uh huh, sure. I don't know Miss Van Karma didn't seem in control of things in there just now. You're going to be eating leftover noodles from a dumpster. <laughs> You'll figure it out eventually, pal. He is, he's oh, already God. doing that! Gumshoe, Gumshoe, <laughs> here's $20. I've never <gasps> seen so much money in my entire life. At night I dine like a king. <laughs> <laughs> Burger King! <laughs> One Big Mac. I said Burger King, you plebeian. <laughs> yeah, but McDonald's is better. 
<laughs> Sir, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> I mean, this, this episode, this episode of Ace Attorney is sponsored by White Castle. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, that's enough of fast food talk. I'm getting hungry and you'll figure it out eventually, pal. Yesterday, our final plans were set into motion. Why'd you say all creepy? New World Order and everything. Anyway, that reminds me. I got a message from the prosecutor for you. Nothing is ever truly decided until the very end. That's it. And that's it for me too, pal. I'm out of here. <laughs> Penny, come here. What do you mean by that, the very end part? I'm not sure. Hey, it was all pretty cryptic to you, dumb asshole. Oh, one more thing. <laughs> ah! Ah, that scared me like that. It looks like there's a large care package from the circus for the defendant. Is it milk? <laughs> Boxed milk. What? For me? <laughs> Call it! <laughs> Someone better pick up that phone because I fucking called it. What is even the point? <laughs> it's milk. It makes him feel better. They're trying to make him feel better. He's gotta have indigestion by now. Because he can't grow a mustache naturally. I'm hey, lactose oh. intolerant, you bastard. No, 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 dude. It's it's those milk and those dumbass plastic baggies at, at school that they give you at school. You know what I'm talking I about? I've never had that. No, I've never had that. It was that. terrible. I always had the cardboard cartons. Anyway, pal, it's milk. The chocolate? The reception area looks kind of like some kind of dairy. So hurry up and drink it all before it spoils. Every <laughs> single drop. You know how, yeah, just make you you know how your father... You know how your father... Makes you smoke a bunch of cigarettes, pal, to get you off the cigarettes. Drink your milk, <laughs> Timmy. Oh my god. <laughs> That'll just make him puke. Guys, oh, I, 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 put I have never seen those. I put up a picture of bagged milk. What the my hell is that? Bagged milk! My school I had to save know, money by getting rid of cartons. So they settled for bagged that. milk. I've how never, the, ever seen that. How ever. is a plastic bag cheaper than a cardboard carton? I don't know. Ask my school and, when I was in grade school. An entire day was worth of milk for me? Maybe maybe his dad has a dairy farm. That's why he loves milk. December 30th, 227 p.m. District Court. Courtroom number two. Number I've two. Had I've had my time. That's exactly what he was going to have to do after all that milk. <laughs> chug, 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 chug. Let's just give milk to everybody in the courtroom. Here you go. It's the cow spurts. This beard and mustache is all milk now. Complimentary milk. Courtesy of the defense. We're totally not bribing you. I'll pass. I prefer strawberry milk. Oh, baby, you know how to go after my heart. Miss Montgomery, yeah. please continue from where you left off. I'd like to continue with Akro's testimony, starting with his relationship to the victim. I'd also like to get proof from the defense. Proof of what kind of motive Akro would have to commit this crime. Understood. Now, oh, Mr. D. Yes, Your Honor. Please proceed with your testimony. Finally, we get to the motive. Wait, Nick, are you okay? Just do me a favor and don't ask questions you don't want the answer to. <laughs> Gulp. How much milk did you drink? <laughs> you don't want to know. When we were little, we were abandoned by our parents. That's when the ringmaster of the Berry Big Circus, Russell Berry, took us in. I became an acrobat at around nine years old. 
Are there child labor laws? Not back then, there weren't. I wanted to find a way to repay the ringmaster. That was my sole purpose in life. Hmm. You're such a thoughtful young man. As you heard, the witness deeply respected the victim. I wonder how anyone could think that Acro would kill the man he held in such esteem. You are absolutely right. How could anyone think that, Mr. Wright? Which is why there's no real need for cross-examination, is there? Actually, that's the question I'm trying to answer myself. Why would Acro kill the Ringmaster? This might be my last chance to answer that question. So, guys, do you want to cross-examine? Now yeah, we're good. Yes. One yes, one no. What else we got? Do we need to cross-examine? Yes, I, I don't know. Do we? I'm confused. I don't know. I don't know the radio. Come on! Yeah, it's so, pretty obvious what happened. Come on, we're 616 of so the world's greatest lawyer. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I mean, I'm I the prosecutor, you are, though. I guess if you don't... 516! I, <laughs> I, I mean, I guess if you don't need any more information, then we won't have to question it no, anymore. Dude, if you answer no need to question, now it's game over. That's oh, okay, over. okay. Of course, cross examine. So, here's his testimony. When we were little, we were abandoned by our parents. And that's when the ringmaster of the Big Berry Circus, Russell Berry, took us in. I became an acrobat at around nine years old. I wanted to right. find a way to repay the ringmaster. That was my okay. sole purpose in uh, life. Cross-examine him. Press him on the, when he took him in. Why? Yeah. That might raise some questions about, like, one big family. That would raise up uh, Regina as well. You, you guys have already solved this question, guys. We really don't need to question him? Alright then, then let's not. I was trying to click it, but then I realized it wasn't clicked in the window. There's no need to cross-examine this witness. <clears throat> What's that? Why was the ringmaster murdered? There's no need to delve into that bit of testimony when I know the answer already. Oh. I was just bullshitting. I did, I thought like if you said don't if you said no need, there would be game over. I never said mm -hmm. that. You're the one that said that. Mm -hmm. This is a weird game. Hey cat. <laughs> Mr. Wright, I'd like to ask you a question. Go ahead, Your Honor. Who the fuck do you think you are? No, I mean, I would just like to know. Can you provide an explanation as to why Acro would want the Ringmaster dead? Yes. No. No. Wait, no, 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 that's right, no. He wouldn't want him dead. Yeah, no, he would also, not want him dead. That's right, no. In English, please. Who the hell do you no, think no. I am? <laughs> Me? Yeah. Dun, dun, I didn't even have to think da, about it. <laughs> yeah, the JoJo it. Mm -hmm. I mean, why not? I didn't even have to think about it. It was obvious from the start. Your Honor, the reason that Acro killed the Ringmaster is something that can't be proven. Why do you say it with a smirk what? on your face? <laughs> That's because Acro had no reason to kill the Ringmaster at all! <laughs> you, your foolish attempts to fool us, like foolish fools, are so foolhardily foolish! Six drinks! <laughs> so Goody turned into Banjo Kazooie, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Forget, you made an accusation against this witness, did you not? I believe it was, this is the real killer of Russell Berry, Ringmaster. If you want to jump to the end of things, then yes, that sounds about right. The end of things? 
Acro. You didn't plan to kill the ringmaster at all, did you? The ringmaster wasn't your target that night. <laughs> oh, Stop this on that. got really fucked up. What did you just say? I'm Stop saying on that. that the target of this witness's murderous plot was not the ringmaster. Because it was never his intention to kill Russell Berry to begin with! What? Heather already saw it. No. Bailiff, I don't care who it is. Oh my God! What the fuck? That's definitely a senile. That's a pretty senile statement. Honestly, I this dominating side of the judge is quite intriguing. <laughs> oh no! Now we, we need to ship K and the judge now. K will well, remember very this. K will remember <laughs> this very sensually. <laughs> Mr. White, what in the world are you trying to do to my court? Anarchy. <laughs> Mr. Phoenix Wright, <laughs> what in the world are you trying to do to this court? <laughs> Why? Why did she whip him? <laughs> I don't know. Are you attempting to imply that Acro was trying to kill someone else? Yep. It was Gumshoe. No, no, see, <laughs> he, was, he was trying to kill his little brother. Didn't finish the job with the lion. <laughs> Anyway, how would he lure his comatose little brother to the Take outside this. of the lodge at night? <laughs> Take that! <laughs> Regina Barry. This young girl is the ringmaster's daughter, correct? That was not a good read. <laughs> Acro. You were really aim you were really <laughs> aiming for her last night, weren't you? Okay. Objection! Objection! You don't need to answer that. It's a mean-spirited leading question. Objection! He could easily answer this question. If I'm wrong, all he has to say is, you're wrong. That's it. That's it, huh, Mr. Phoenix Wright? We have proof. <laughs> Enough! Mr. Wright, allow me to. <laughs> the only <laughs> thing allowed to interrupt me is death itself. That is. <laughs> Not again. Hello, Estelle. Hello? <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> Except to be with her fucking spear instead of the goddamn whip. <laughs> I wreak havoc upon thee! <laughs> Say the line, Bowtie. I already did! Huh? Whatever, it's fine. Maybe I didn't. And that to go. goes for you too, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Show me evidence! Now! Yes, Queen. <laughs> I want to know why Acro would have to kill Regina Barry. Yes, me too. I demand to see some proof. Present evidence that proves Acro was out to kill this young girl. Hmm, I wonder what it could be. It's Money the Monkey! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's actually a monkey. That'll teach him to make a monkey out of us. Yes, you've learned the truth. It's human. not actually a monkey, it's Danny DeVito in a costume. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> so anyway, I started blasting. Can I offer you an egg in this trying time? <laughs> okay, go ahead. Take that! Human meat! Oh god. Acro, you remember this, don't you? That's... It's a piece of paper that we found inside the Ringmaster's tailcoat. Inside the victim's tailcoat? 
Acro wrote this note. It's ironically entitled, To the Murderer. Its purpose was to call someone to the plaza at 10 p.m. So you're saying that he called me with that note? Yes, but there's just one little problem. Problem? Acro did indeed place this note into someone's pocket. However, that someone was not the ringmaster. You mean it wasn't father? That's exactly what I mean. The person this note was intended for was none other than Regina Barry! Nani! Nani, sorry. Order! Mr. Right, this little theory of yours. It's the truth, Your Honor. It isn't a theory. Simply Not put... even a game theory? Nope. Simply put, Regina didn't think the note was meant for her. Which is why, the morning of the crime, she placed it on the cafeteria bulletin board. That's when her father, I mean the ringmaster, saw the note? That's correct. The ringmaster ended up in that plaza instead of Regina. And he was killed because of that mistake instead of Regina. That's... that's... that's incredible! Remember the testimony that Acro gave us earlier today? <clears throat> Lifting the bust and looking out of the window would have been impossible. There's no way I could have exerted that kind of force on my lower body. If I were to do that, I'd end up falling out of the window myself. Acro had no idea who it was that arrived in the plaza. Because he couldn't look down out of his window to see who it actually was. I got it! I got it! Acro thought it was Regina down in the plaza! And that's when he let the bust fly. Hey, Nick? Isn't Regina listening to all this from the audience? She is. Unfortunately, it's only going to get harsher from here. I hope Regina can handle it. I have no idea what's going on! Acro wrote this note to Regina! Objection! Foolishly, foolish, <laughs> but foolishly foolish, fool ideas as I to die. You're so couldn't... foolish, you've even made me sound like a foolish, hearty, fool, hearty fool. God, I, I, I touched nothing, it scrolled on its own. <laughs> Objection. Very well, Mr. Phoenix Wright. If you're so sure, then tell us about this line. I have conclusive evidence of what took place. Yes, what about that line? Well, if the note was meant for Regina Barry, it would mean that... This note is declaring that Regina Barry is a murderer. You just don't get it, do you? What? What did you just say? The ringmaster knew what the note meant, which is why he went to the plaza, in place of his lovely daughter. I probably wanted to talk to Hold it right there, Mr. Wright! What is this incident that is alluded to in the note? The incident six months ago. I know all that. An incident occurred six months ago, and now... I am more than ready to show this court what happened at uh, what happened at that time. Moron! No drink. <laughs> Wait, are you sure that it relates to the present case? It does indeed, Your Honor. Everything in this case had its start in what happened six months ago. 
Rubble, 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 rubble. Get rada, in the mix? I, uh, think so. <laughs> well, then, if that's the case, hurry up and tell us about it. What is this conclusive evidence mentioned in the note? I know I'd certainly like to know what it is. If I can't answer that question, the judge is going to think I'm bluffing. The conclusive evidence about the six incident six months ago is actually... The pepper. Take that! What kind of spicy joke is this, Mr. Phoenix Wright? It isn't a joke at all. It's the decisive evidence you asked for. What do you mean? Recall that the victim was trying to take the wooden box away with him. He was doing so because this piece of decisive evidence is what was inside. Another unbelievable conclusion! How are you well, Mr. Phoenix Wright? So, what exactly are you saying? Oh, now you've got him doing it too. <laughs> it's my shit. Are you claiming Regina Berry killed someone with a small bottle of pepper? Taking the note into account, that's the only logical conclusion you can draw. Objection! One, two, two. The people who never tired of <laughs> <in> foolish ways. Three drinks! <laughs> if you're so sure, Mr. Phoenix Wright, then answer this question. Who was Regina Berry's intended victim? Money the what monkey! Was it intended? <laughs> it's that. Look at that baby face. Take oh, that! Man. Who is this? That is Acro's younger brother. Objection! Objection! What does this prove? His younger brother isn't dead. Technically, that's true. However, Bat has been in a coma for six months now. It's not a stretch to see how Acro could feel that his brother is dead. Regina, she did that to him? Do you spend your entire life dreaming up new ways to be a fool? Wondering. Naturally, the prosecution has looked into Acro's brother, Sean Dingling. Six months ago, he was bit by a lion and fell into his current comatose state. A, a lion? Regina, I mean, Miss Regina Barry, is an animal tamer by trade. However, no tamed animal in that position is ever trained to attack another human. They wouldn't understand the command. Moreover, Miss Regina could never do something like that. It's just not in her. <laughs> So then, what happened to Acro's brother? He's not the victim of an attempted murder. He's the victim of an accident. I see. Now what do we do? No one seems to be going along with your theory. You think what happened to that was actually an accident? Yes. It was more than that. Yeah, it was... Oh, was it? Oh. Look at the scarf. It's laced with pepper. Oh, yeah, that's true. The lion biting bat was no accident at all! I just was talking about that, too. What? You're such an amateur, Mr. Phoenix Wright. There is no way that Regina would ever incite her lion to attack another human being. She may not have incited the lion to attack another human being. But Regina is responsible for making the lion bite Acro's brother, Bat. Scarf it up! Scarf! Take that! That's... Uh, that's just a scarf. Aren't you disgusted, Goody? A scarf being used for evil? 
<gasps> Imposible. <laughs> Acro. You gave him that, you idiot. This scarf is something that Bat used to wear, correct? That's right. And who was the one that gave this scarf to Bat? Regina. Regina gave it to him. Regina? There is something more than just blood on this scarf, Your Honor. And what might that be? That's you! Pepper. Pepper. Goody, God damn it. <laughs> God Regina damn it, gave the scarf to Bat right before the accident. What the fuck did Goody post? Don't worry about <laughs> Look at it. hanging out, chat. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Oh. <laughs> Let's have a look at this. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Goody, why? Goody, why? <laughs> <laughs> there goes the tone of this case now. Right? Regina gave what this scarf to Pat right before the accident. <laughs> and she covered it with as much pepper as she could. Uh. What? Uh. Uh. Hey, what's with the silent treatment? I'm gonna hide your gonna have my stuff being nice, nice Keontae. Get him, get him. <laughs> Did he, wait, was he not named Hannibal? What was he named again? Was I was Jeffrey. named Hannibal. <laughs> it was Jeffrey. See, see, he changed know, it to Teddy. And you, and you thought my, and you thought I killed the tone. <laughs> <laughs> um, excuse me, Mr. Wright. You've done a good job of fingering a criminal. Crazy! <laughs> I haven't even taken him out to dinner yet. Oh my god. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Oh, move on, please. Without curiosity, what was her crime? Uh, I'll tell you as soon as this bird stops trying to peck my eyes out. <laughs> I told you to go for the eye. I should. Those are not the balls I told you to go for, Jeffrey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Miss Barry gave a pepper-covered scarf to Bat as a present. Where's the crime in that? Yeah, it's just it still a joke. seems like the judge doesn't get it. <laughs> Mr. Phoenix Wright. Was it said that the lion seemed to be smiling? Oh, smiling? The lion was smiling? Right before Bat was bit by the lion. For a moment, the lion's mouth changed and it looked like it, he was smiling. Lions smile? Secondhand lions do. Ew. <laughs> I've never heard of them smiling. However, Lion sneeze. <laughs> Leon wasn't trying to bite bad at all. Okay, his brother's cut too. The planet core. In reality, all he did was sneeze. Hachu. He sneezed because of all the pepper on the scarf. Dun dun dun. What? You fool! Drink! Waterfall. So she's Goku now all of a sudden? <laughs> You've got to be kidding me! I know, this is a very stupid case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kind of. <clears throat> What's the matter, Miss Von Karma? I... I... Object... For objection's sake! Oh, now who's the fool? Mr. Phoenix Wright! You... This theory... You believe it? 
Focus Queen. You really intend to say that this is how this joke of an accident actually happened? Of course I do. It's the truth. Line sneezed due to the pepper, and that's when Bat lost consciousness. Acro nearly lost his brother due to this accident, or this joke, as you put it. Which is why he tried to get his revenge against Regina. You foolish idiot. Huh. Is that a... <laughs> it almost does seem like a terrible joke. Doesn't it? Once again, I'm impressed by your imagination, Mr. Wright. To think that there's someone who treats this accident with the respect it deserves. Are you telling me that what I said was true? Uh, Acro? You don't mean. You can't mean. Witness! Me. Uh, are you confirming the defense's claim? Mr. Wright, unfortunately, your imagination is not enough to find me guilty of murder. Huh? What do you mean by that? The pepper, the scarf, the lion. White Rose. Right. See where you're going, but it's a bit hard to swallow. <laughs> like your brother's head. Uh -oh. Dude! Dude! <laughs> First off, too soon. Not to mention the fact that there's an even bigger problem with your theory. I've been in the corner all that night. What would that problem be? The same problem it's always been. Evidence. If I dropped Max's bust on top of the ring, Master, Where's the evidence that proves that claim? Oh, where's the bust? Hey, get your bust right here, bitch. <laughs> uh... I'm gonna bust you Again, up real bad. Jeffrey, I love the enthusiasm, but your, your targeting is way off. Look, they only gave me so many frames of the animation, okay? I gotta make do with what I got. I said you mean the conclusive evidence. The biggest problem is the murder weapon, or the lack thereof, to be more precise. The murder weapon. The bust that the, that the defense claims was used. If that were to be found in Acro's room, and if it was covered with the victim's blood, that would be awfully conclusive in my eyes. Yes, it would be. Bust. Nick, you've got to do something! This is the last step. If I get this one right, the case is won. What do you guys think? Um. Request to search Acro's room. Seems like the only logical choice. What's Miss Von Karma been like? What's, what's been our MO whenever we do something like this? Stalling. No, I've already done that. Oh, right. It might be worthwhile to search Acro's room, mm. but... Well, why aren't you going to search his room? I oh, wouldn't put it in his room. It looks like you finally figured things out, didn't you? Oh. Now you know the true meaning of Von Karma Total Justice. That's not what this game is called. <laughs> I guess... I figured with you, that's the least I should expect. You leave no stone unturned. Avant Karma never leaves anything to chance. Except Larry. <laughs> we already searched Acro's room yesterday. What did you find? There's no reason to even say it. 
if we found what you think we found in that room, Akira would not be here as a witness. But to put a point on it, Max's bust was not in the room. The murder weapon is still unaccounted for. You see, Mr. Wright, the bust wasn't in my room. Furthermore, Detective Dick Gumshoe executed the search by complete surprise. <coughs> and we took Acro directly to the prosecutor's office after that. End of story. Just wait a second. Something's funny about all this. <laughs> Not that funny. It looks like you lack the final nail to put into my coffin. What about the scarf? What about the note? What about them, Mr. Wright? No offense, but the only evidence that is relevant here is that which pertains to the death of the Ringmaster. You should know that by now. Ugh. Do something, Nick. Don't let this case slip away. Check his wheelchair. The bust, where is it now? Hmm. Where is the bust right now? Mr. F you're Phoenix Wright. You know where that bust is, I'm sure you do. There's not even a single clue. How am I supposed to know where the bust is? It seems this case is coming to a close. The defense's counter-arguments look to have fallen short. Thank you for your support. <sighs> I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Wright. I think that brings an end to the cross-examination of this witness. Hold it! That was Maya. Oh, hold it! Where's Max's butt? I don't know where the defense is needs time. The defense needs time to prepare to present its lace. Oh, uh, what? Case, I think. I mean, case. Sorry, I'm a bit nervous. And I just bit my tongue. <laughs> oh, what? I need time to... <laughs> Why are you the most surprised person here? She's your aid, isn't she? <coughs> Do you really have a case to present, Mr. Wright? What? Why are you asking me? The rest is up to you, Nick. <laughs> Good luck! Hey, wait! You can't be serious! Acrobats always have their lives in the line, don't they? That's how Acro's lived his life up, in, up until now. Now it's time for us to walk across our own tightrope. If we don't, we're certain to lose. Very well. The defense may proceed. He doesn't have a clue. And I don't think he'll be finding one anytime soon. You're kind of hinting that you, that, that he's right. Walking the tightrope of logic. There's no room for a false step. Sink or swim. The only way through is forward. Yes, Queen. The murder weapon. Where is Max's bus now? Somewhere in this courtroom. <coughs> Any objection? Um... Trust my hunch! That's what I'm thinking, but I don't know. <laughs> it's, there's only one place it could be. Beneath the counters! They've never shown down there! It's obvious. <laughs> the bust is inside this very courtroom! It's obviously where? Allow me to pinpoint the location of the bust once and uh, for all! The uh, witness stand! 
one of these options, I think, is instant death. So... I believe it's Prosecutor's Bench, and then Francisca whips us. Yeah. Witness stand. Acro. Right, with him. I'm sorry to ask this, but do you mind if I take the blanket off your wheelchair? Told ya! I didn't right. shove it up my ass. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been really impressive if you did. I mean, he probably wouldn't feel anything. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't quite hear you, Mr. Wright. Well, you are a big guy, and you have a pretty big wheelchair because of it. I just wanted to make sure you weren't hiding anything under that blanket. Because it oh. seems to me that'd be really easy to say, hide a bust under there. Also, this is the only time someone has a full body sprite in the original trilogy. Yep. That's legs! Cool. Legs! Legs! Well, it's clear. <laughs> You clearly think you have me busted. <laughs> Once again, your penchant for humor hits me where it hurts, Mr. Wright. I think it's pretty amazing that you can laugh in your position. Take off the blanket! However, your lightheartedness doesn't change the fact that the bust is under there. We all know that you can't leave the lodging house by yourself in your condition. That proved inconvenient when Miss Von Karma happened to search your room yesterday. If she had found the murder weapon in your room, it would have been all over. Which is why you had to hide it. The only place that you could hide it. Up your ass. Under your wheelchair. <laughs> I mean, technically, they're not uh, uh, mutually exclusive. Hold exclusive. Oh, this is like the one big sad boy moment of this case. Okay. Which is why, Acro, I have to ask you again. Would you please remove the blanket from your lap? Well done, Mr. Wright. Masterfully played. You. You fool. Drink. How could you? You've got me. I've been backed by a real pro. Actually, two of them. Two of them? Miss Francesca Von Karma and Mr. Phoenix Wright. What? There's just one thing I'd like to know. How did you know to launch the surprise search of my room last night? Huh? There were two pieces of decisive evidence. The cloak and the bust. I burned the cloak in my room and threw the ashes away with the trash. Regina always took my trash out every morning, you know. But the bust, obviously I couldn't throw that away. When you executed your search, all I could do was try to hide the bust. And the only place that I could hide it quickly was under this wheelchair. Miss Von Karma, you had things all figured out, didn't you? Brink. I was completely sucked in by your calculated strategy. And now to be caught in the middle of court hiding the murder weapon. There's no way I can escape that. So you've got me. Well done, Mr. Wright. Well done, Ms. Von Karma. Hmm. It all makes sense now. I can't believe that Von Karma thought that far ahead. It's amazing! Huh? You definitely couldn't tell by looking at her. Yeah. I know, I sure couldn't. I can't believe it. Me. Make a mistake. First time for everything, honey. Why did I order a surprise search of your room? If only I hadn't done that. 
It seems we finally arrived at the truth. Acro. Yes, Your Honor. Did you kill the ringmaster of the big of the Berry Big Circus, Mr. Russell Berry? Yes, Your Honor. I'm responsible for that crime. Acro. All my brother wanted was for Regina to like him. That's why he'd tease her. One day, my brother sprinkled some pepper on Regina. She started sneezing so hard, you couldn't help yourself from laughing. That's why Regina thought it'd be funny to get him back in the same way. And that's why she covered the scarf with pepper. I know she didn't mean for anything bad to happen. I know this. She just wanted to make my brother sneeze a few times, too. Got it! But I just couldn't forgive her, no matter what. What am I truly guilty of? I'm guilty of never, ever being able to understand her. Your brother became a star. Regina believes in that so purely. She would laugh innocently when saying it. Too innocently. I just couldn't stand it. No matter how hard I tried. That's when you decided to do something about Regina. How dreadful. So are you saying that you are a victim in it? So are you saying that you are a victim in all of this as well? Drink. No. That's not what I mean. Oh. I'm nothing but a murderer. That's who I am. At first I thought I'd kill myself. Then I pondered about giving myself up. But I couldn't just up and leave. I just couldn't. Not yet. That's why I tried to pin this on Max. Max, I'm so sorry. I just, I, I just, I just couldn't up and leave yet. It has been such a strange case. Almost a reflection of the circus itself. I am an idiot. Shall we get a finisher drink on that one? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. You beat me again. Well, sad. I thought the first one didn't count, huh? <clears throat> huh. I believe this case is now beyond any points of possible discussion. Thus, I'd like to declare my verdict. Not guilty. Woo! <laughs> Fabulous. Hey, when did Max get here? <laughs> Max is always here. This court is adjourned. You know what I imagine? One of one of Gumshoe's uh, like shitty jobs is to make the confetti for that moment. <laughs> well, we saw we the comic too. We the comic in here about it. That's why I said it. <laughs> yeah. That's why I said it. <laughs> yeah. I've been chopping up crepe paper for 48 hours. Is this enough confetti yet, Miss Von Karma? December 30th, 427 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 5. Mm. F -f -f Fabulous! Drink. I already drank. But to be honest, I can't really be too happy about this. Acro, the ring ringmaster, Regina, and that. This single one of them is a bad person inside, huh? That's a good question, and one I don't know the answer to. Many congrats, but only at max. A million of them! <laughs> uh...
<laughs> Thank you. Wait, I get it. It's like my name. <laughs> What's with the vibe in this room? You're just thinking about Akro. No, 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 no. If you're worrying about people too much, then you'll be like this forever and never be happy. Huh? Oh, God. <clears throat> She's been like this for a while now. Why? Well, it's all my fault! <laughs> friend. Friend, you went. we come full circle, ladies and gentlemen. How did Akko then have a coming by? Now everyone's gonna split off! Regina. Why didn't she say that about Leon and her dad? The, you know, the ones who were actually dead. She, she was... She's taking baby steps, dude. Mr. Roy, tell me something. I mean, it's implied she's been emotionally stunted, so... <laughs> what do you want to know, Regina? I guess it's something right at the end. Putting up and leave yet. Does this mean that Akko. Is he gonna try and get his revenge on me? <laughs> He's not gonna do that to you, Regina. Are you sure? Are you really sure? I can believe that? Yep. Akko doesn't have any desire for revenge anymore. That's true then. I want to see some evidence. Oh my god. Huh? <laughs> I'm gonna, you know, just thinking of that stuff about Akko not watching me, mate. Take that! Akro didn't want to get caught for a reason. He wanted to see his brother open his eyes again. A bat! That's right, Tina. He's still alive, you know. I never knew. Now that Akko's been caught. Uh huh. I know! What? I'll do it. I'll stay next to Pat as long as it takes. Until he opens his eyes. And then until he can meet Akro again. That's sweet of you, Regina. I'm sorry, Akko. I'm sorry, Bat. Huh? I didn't know you were going to stick your head in a freaking lion! Hopefully <laughs> this is enough to give her a little peace of mind. Hey, Max. What is it, Mo? We really put you through a lot, didn't we, buddy? I'm... I'm sorry about what happened. So whatever you'd like to leave us, I'll pay your fee and rip up your contract. I understand. What a fabulous thing to do for me. I might even leave tomorrow. What a dick. <laughs> What's going to happen to the circus now? Oh, okay, there we go. Ah, uh, that's uh, the big question. Our written master was never really an amazing person. Wasn't it? Ne Where is that never coming what? from? What? Oh, well, really Drink. Per I, I misread that. I'm sorry. What? Uh, I misread that. I'm sorry. Finish your drink oh. for that one. A <laughs> yep. ringmaster was really an amazing person, wasn't he? I'm sorry. Uh. Even though he's not here anymore, everyone is still sticking together. The staff, the performers, no one wants to leave the circus. That's why I've made a decision. What is it? 
I decided that I will take over as the new ringmaster. I'll turn the circus into the best circus this world has ever seen! I didn't take a breath before. The that. best circus the world has ever seen? Don't laugh! It's quite the goal. Yay, I can't wait! Then I guess that changes things. Huh? There's only one thing the best circus in the world has ever seen needs. The world's best illusions. Which means the circus needs the best magician in the world has ever seen. Max. Let's work together and make our circus super fabulous. What do you say, big guy? Drink. Hmm. I finished mine. I don't know what to say. Uh, all I can say is thank you. Um, um Regina, yeah. you're gonna help them out too, aren't you? Um, I don't know. Maybe the circus would be better off without me. What are you talking about, Regina? Hmm. Why do you think that I brought you to court today? Uh... We've got to work together to make the very big circus bigger than it's ever been! No. Hmm, Mo's right, my mutual platonic friend. <laughs> it can't be the big, very big circus without Regina Barry. Nice. Nick! Seems like everything is going to turn out all right here. I can't wait to go see the best circus the world has ever seen! Hmm. We'll save you the most fabulous seats! It'll take us a while to get ready, but I'm gonna order I'm gonna order special whoopee cushion seats. <laughs> you missed like you seven. Have a couple more. <laughs> yeah, I know, but just keep laughing till we say stop. <laughs> I see. What made the case? Yesterday's surprise raid. It really paid off, just like you said you would, sir. Um. You had it all figured out, didn't you? It was just a theory. If Akra a really was the killer, theory. I thought this was the only way it could end. Especially if he was a defense attorney. You mean Mr. Wright? Of course. Well, Detective, my plane is about to leave. As for Mr. Akra's case, you need not worry. I plan to personally stop by the Chief Prosecutor's office as soon as I get back. Understood, sir. I'll be waiting for you, Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, Lord, he coming! <laughs> Episode 3, Turn About Big Top, the end. Yay! That was really stupid. <laughs> it was. It is like the lowest it's... point that this game has ever gone. But then, the highest high is about to be here! <laughs>